Yo, what's going on, guys? It's a one chip back with another video. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you my process of making piano melodies, like piano loops, that sort of thing. All right, yeah. So I'm just going to show you how I make the melody, like my whole thought process, kind of. And yeah, just give away my source, even though I don't really have any. But you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm gonna give away all of that. You know. Yeah, okay. Before I get into it, subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on. You know, trying to trying to do this YouTube thing, trying to be a producer like for real. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing these videos. You know, trying it out. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's get. Let's just hop into the video. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So, what you wanna do? got tempo yeah like 164 160 it's a pretty sick tempo so that's what i like anyway you can do whatever tempo you like but different tempos have different sounds so, so you definitely like play around with different tempos and find which ones you like i've played and done that i found 160 to like 180 maybe that like, i like that sort of tempo but yeah you want to open your piano plugin you can use addictive keys that's a pretty good one you can use uh fl keys this is free it comes with a whole studio or you could use labs um it would take it takes a while to load but yeah labs this soft piano preset that's pretty fire um also if you, another one for fl studio you go to packs instruments keyboard and you've got this stage grand um yeah i used to use this all the time before i got addictive keys but yeah so you're in the piano roll now now what so you want to go here you want to find helpers scale highlighting e and put alio in your minor or you can just use any but just make sure it's minor natural a yeah that one um e is a pretty good one to have so yeah i'm just gonna use e now what I do, first thing I'm like, well, that's that's it. Um, I'm like, so basically, with this scale, you can either go like this, or you can go like this. So they're the two sort of chord progressions you can do that uh, most people do. Um, but you notice that there's a space here. So you just repeat this, and that's a pretty good chord progression if I play it. But yeah, um, let me actually just make the chord progression real quick. If you just build out the chords, it, by the way, this is play one, skip one, play one, skip one, uh, within a scale. So you play one, skip a note, and then put it here, skip a note here, skip a note skip a note uh, skip a note like this so yeah that's pretty cool but i prefer this one it's like oh i don't even know I did it wrong, my bad. Put this down to C. Alright, cool. Something like that, but yeah. Alright, so. Oh, also, there's this one here. You can do this. That's a pretty fire one. I like this one. It's probably like my favorite one. But yeah. But like you do this. You can also do this. Just move it so. It hits a beat earlier, it just adds more bounce. It's, yeah. 
more wavy. All right, cool. Once you've done that, what you want to do? You want to copy these base notes. By the way, the shortcut I'm doing is uh, control, holding control, and then shift, and you can just select whatever you want. And then you press control, and then the down arrow, and it sends it down an octave. Then shift click onto it, and then press control down again, and you get this. And notice how full it sounds like it's got all the octaves, or well, not all of them, but you know, it's spanning three octaves now. Which, yeah, that just makes it sound way more full, way more filled up, and not as like in one. It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to say it. But then you can start to add like melodies. Um, with this, I usually just click around, you know, try to find something I like, and then sort of add onto it. A lot of people just hum. Sometimes I do that, but I like to click, get an idea first, and then do the humming or whatever. Like, so I just do this. I like, oh, I like that. So then I go, oh, let me go with this. No, 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 no. See, no, 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 no. And what I've noticed is C doesn't really work well in this scale, as in it usually just sounds a bit off, especially with these chords. So yeah, that's why you should just practice in one scale and then you just get to learn it. But to be honest, it doesn't matter what scale you're in, because all minor scales are the same, they're just higher or lower. Um, yeah. I don't really know music theory by the way, it's just like, this is what I've learned from like playing around, figuring out, and a little bit of music theory, just a little bit. Right, uh, yeah. So let's continue to make this melody. Um, but yeah, also something I've do noticed is that you wanna do like sort of busy at the start and then empty at the um, empty at the end. So here it'd be more empty. Here it'd be more busy. So be like do 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 do. You know what I mean? That that would be the melody. But um, yeah. Let's let's just play it and. Let's go. So this is the root note, so it will definitely work with this chord. Um, yeah. So let's do it again. We need to add something. I think it'll be like maybe this. Oh yeah. Also, something I do. If you place a note. Right here, you're like, oh, no. that sounds cool, but whether it's here and you play it again, all right, and then you're like, whoa, okay, that sounds better, but what if it's here? And like, whoa, that sounds even better. So, definitely, like, play around with your notes, don't just uh, keep them, <laughs> yeah, don't just keep them in one place. Like, if you place it here, you're like, oh, well, it, what if it sounds better here? Here, here, you know what I mean? Like, you should definitely, like, switch where you place the notes. So I'm going to leave it as A here. Maybe like this. I really like it. <laughs> but 
But also something you want to do um, is you want to sort of switch up right at the end. So you, that, oh damn! So that was a four bar loop that I just did. This was the this is what I did before. Um, of everything, but then I copied it out uh, by selecting this and Control B. <clears throat> then what you want to do, right? You want to see this. You want to add variation right here, because you want a repeating pattern. Yeah right here but then you can sort of switch it up here and you don't want to switch up the rhythm you just want to switch up the notes so what i usually do is just pitch these up uh, and see Alright, cool. So that's the melody. Um, right, let me explain it real quick again. So let me zoom it all the way out so you can see everything. Alright, so up here, this selected, this is the top melody. Um, yeah, it, it's not that complicated. It probably looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. So all I did was click notes within a scale in different rhythms and then just change them about depending on what my ear told me so yeah that's one thing you gotta do to make good melody develop your ear develop and just make things that you think are good if uh, if you don't think it's good then don't don't do it like, if you think this sounds trash like don't make a melody like this that's it that's as simple as so that's the top melody um and then here is the chords but then i pitch the root note down that's the bottom note of the chord um so yeah the bottom note of the chord which is the first note if you're trying to make it so for this it's e d and c which would make e minor d major and c major for the chords going like this and yeah and then i just pitch down the root notes again just to make it sound more thick and yeah but so that's the melody for now. Um, but another thing you can actually do, right, is um, just yeah, add uh, notes in a high octave. So you see, this is seven, six, five, four, and three. So that that's the pretty good octave for making chords and melodies. Uh, above that, it just sound above and below that. In fact, it sounds just a bit like you can't even go to a nine in this uh, VST. But eight. It's just, it's not that good. The notes start sounding a bit weird. And if you go to E, oh, I mean, it sounds kind of cool, but it'll get kind of muddy in the mix if you went that low in the piano. And you usually cut out lows anyway. <coughs> but yeah, all right, cool. So basically what sometimes I do is you just add the root note up here. Or sometimes I like to add the middle note because of the chord. It just yeah, it just makes it sound more full. So if we can add the middle note, and we can or what? What we can do is just select these, shift and click, and then control up our couple octaves, and it's here. Uh, yeah, just play. It.
So yeah, with these high notes, you definitely want to bring them down because they'll definitely stick through the mix. Like high pitches, like tend to stick through more. But yeah, if you just bring them down, you can sort of hear them, but they're just there to be there. Um, but then what you want to do, you want to select everything. But I'm not gonna select the top notes, these ones, because yeah, I want them to stay low. And anyway, I'm gonna hold O and then scroll up to bring all the velocities up, and then O R to randomize. So all I've got here is the pan and the velocity, and also a bipolar on because I like the notes going up and down. Mm. And yeah, I just like how it is. But if you don't put bipolar, you don't have to scroll up because they won't go above. They'll just go what you told it to do. So anyway, press accept and then bring them back down again. And yeah. And what you want to do, you want to bring the velocity slightly down so it sounds like more graceful. And that's like you're slamming on the keys because think about it, if you're playing piano. You're not really gonna um, be like slamming it down. You sort of play it lightly, and that's what you want to recreate in this. Uh, yeah, that's what you want to recreate. So just definitely bring the velocities down a little bit, not too much, but like enough so it sounds more graceful and whatever. And also you want to press O S to strum, and yeah, because when you're playing piano again, like you don't press all the notes at once. Like like a robot, you just press it slightly off, so it'll just give it that nice realistic effect. It won't be a hundred percent realistic, obviously, because you know it's in it's like you're basically making it with a robot. But you know, but anyway, let's play this. I like how these are sort of higher because it's towards the end of the melody like the piano player will be like duh, 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 and like sort of slam it down more and it sort of transitions well into the start where it goes more quiet yeah it just sort of add variation throughout the melody that's quite good um, oh damn sorry <laughs> yeah anyway what now so we've got that mm, but that's pretty cool but you know, we probably want some layers. Um, so what I'm gonna do, just gonna add. Damn, flip. Oh, my CPU is dying probably. It's because I've got like 20 tabs of Chrome open. Um. Yeah. <sighs> this is a pretty cool preset. But yeah. And uh, I'm going to make an ARP out of it, so what you want to do, you want to get this and press Alt A. And you can just fiddle with these settings, but I've got it so it goes three octaves, and yeah, whatever. But yeah, that's one step, then you want to do this. And yeah, and then um, 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 blah, blah, blah. you want to brew it to whatever track you want, and then just... Oh damn. You don't want to put half time on it, so gross beat. Momentary. Half speed, yeah. That sounds cool. I'm gonna bounce that out. Oh, uh, we can turn this down. Now we've got this. Sounds pretty sick. Anyway, you wanna put it on the the track again. Uh, I wanna take off the Grisby because yeah, you bounced out. Um, you wanna add an EQ, sort of do this. Add a reverb, add delay. You wanna add delay free because you can get all this weird stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some weird things, ping pong, do that, I don't know, just mess around with the settings. 
Yeah, you can turn this down. Sort of make it ambient. Whoa. That's crazy. So that's how you make a custom art just in this quick like piano tutorial. <laughs> but anyway, we're, I've waffled for 20 minutes. But anyway, alright, that's cool. So you've added that layer, you can de delete flex. Um, because something I like to do is add. Um, 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 vocals so if you have arcade you could do that a lot of arcade so i just i just have this um it's not exactly in time but you just stretch out press auto and this will be an e minor Alright, that's cool. So we basically made the melody here. Um, dude, that delay is that delay is mad. Um, honestly, I might just bounce this out again. And just have this one. Alright, cool, and then basically, um, you wanna add EQ like this, take out the lows, not all of it, because, yeah, the piano needs that sort of low end, and, um, and then you wanna add, like, whatever, I like isotope vinyl, you can RC20, there's other ones out there, but yeah, isotope vinyl's free, so it's pretty cool for just detuning and, uh, just doing this. <laughs> So anyway, yeah. Uh, mm. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you got this far, definitely thank you a lot because you watched the whole video. Like what? Anyway, uh, damn. Anyway, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. But yeah, it's been pretty lit. Um, I didn't think I'd make like this piano melody because that's fire. Like, I don't. I wasn't really feeling it yesterday, like, I wasn't really feeling it making beats or anything, but, yeah, I took a break, and I came back, and, um, here we are, fire, but, yeah, so, thank you for watching, uh, appreciate it, don't forget to subscribe, and like the video if you enjoyed, um, follow my Instagram, at wannachip underscore, just, uh, post beats on there, I'll probably be posting more updates as well, but, yeah, also, loop kit is gonna come soon free loop kit with loops like that you know been cooking up this whole month been making loops like yeah every day basically um so yeah like 10 free loops gonna be in it 100 percent royalty free uh whatever all that stuff but yeah well that's it instagram Else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's cool. So I'm gonna play out this loop. Um, yeah.